You can imagine my surprise. Monday night. I turn on Raw. Which in and of itself was kind of a surprise because I'm sitting there asking myself, why the hell am I doing this? But I did. It's a seven-man gauntlet match. And initially I'm thinking this is probably going to be the main event. Nope, it's opening the show. Okay. Seven-man gauntlet match. This is going to go a little bit. This will at least go 30 minutes, you would think. Maybe 45? And if we're really feeling frisky or nuts, maybe we'll go a whole hour. This match went almost two damn hours! Two damn hours! And I know, I know, I've seen the reactions. It was a magnificent Seth Rollins showcase. He's been bitten by the bad luck blood bug with. Dean Ambrose getting hurt, Jason Jordan getting hurt. Now you really don't have a clear path for anything for him to do for Mania. So this was a real chance to get back big on Seth Rollins. Let me remind you, leading up to this, you were talking about potentially a feud at WrestleMania involving either Dean Ambrose or Jason Jordan. It's not like they were very eager to get back big on the Seth Rollins bandwagon and you think one night's really going to get you there, one night is really going to make that happen? That seems to be a bit of a stretch. I'm just saying. But even when you talk about, oh, he beat Roman Reigns, he beat John Cena. It still ultimately ended up being about Braun Strowman telling somebody they're about to get these hands. But almost two fucking hours. And people loved it. They thought this was great. Like, the last thing we needed, it seems like, is even longer matches, so the WWE gives us an insanely long match, and people are praising it. Go fucking figure. Well, a lot of you like it, that's fine. I'll be in the minority here. It's not the first time. Most certainly won't be the last time. But that freaking two-hour-long Raw gauntlet match was boring and lazy as shit. I'm sorry. You have a hell of a time trying to sell me on a match lasting almost two hours when there is absolutely no purpose or reasoning for this match other than it is just randomly fucking thrown together to fill time because the company's too goddamn lazy to actually write a full damn show. That's not good enough. There's no purpose. There is no meaning. There is no reason for this shit. And even if certain moments of it are good, and they were, eventually you get to a point in time where it is too damn long. A major problem in sports entertainment, professional wrestling, whatever the hell you want to call it. This crap is getting too damn long. And I am sorry. An almost two hour long gauntlet match with no title at stake, no contendership at stake, no even order or spot in the Elimination Chamber match at stake, absolutely nothing. So we're just going out there to fuck all time. And I'm sorry, I'm just not at a stage at this point in time of my life where I could completely and totally shut down my brain and say, don't think, it doesn't matter. Occasionally I like to think a little bit. I might think dumb shit, but I still like to think. And I'm sitting there thinking the whole damn time, what is the point of this? And the point was absolutely nothing. And what's ridiculous about this as we're talking about Raw in and of itself already being three hours, which is freaking ridiculous. Now you've taken up almost two hours of that show with one damn match. Now fans are expected six goddamn days later to come back for Elimination Chamber and watch these guys wrestle again in a chamber match that won't go nearly as long after watching them wrestle in a different configuration for almost two flippin' hours. What the bluest of blue fucks is going on here? Where people are down for this. Where people are happy for this. And ding dong, dumb dicks, WWE, last time I checked, you've got a whole show to worry about on Sunday, and I think you only have maybe, what, three or four matches booked for the damn event? Wouldn't you think, wouldn't you think that there would be better uses for your television time than devoting almost two hours to one fucking match? Almost two-thirds of your show to one fucking match that had no purpose, no consequence, no meaning, and no significance. Horse shit on that. WWE wants to sit there and be lazy and do this type of crap because they don't want to be bothered with actually writing out a full show. You might be okay with that, but I'm onto their shit and I'm not letting them off the hook. 
If you can't sit there and actually piece together a full three-hour show, then maybe you're in the wrong fucking business. You ass hats want to throw on a three-hour show every week? Then do it. Then actually put on a three-hour show. Not two hours of fucking fumble fucking circle jerking around. And then the last hour, of course, back to your traditional absolute suck. Like, again, the whole issue is, why in the fuck would you watch the pay-per-view on Sunday when you watch a match that probably is going to be better that was twice as long on Monday? Wrestling as a whole has these problems with their shows and their matches being way too goddamn long. And WWE doesn't go, does this shit, it's fucking insane. Oh, it can top it all off. Why well, everybody circle jerk into an almost two hour long match on fucking Raw, it's a record. Oh, that's what we're gonna live for the whole year. It's about history, history. Oh my god, it's the first time live on Raw that somebody literally dropped trial and dropped the Dukester in the ring. We made history! We made history! Oh my god, history has been made! You're talking about a pay-per-view that you have like three, maybe four matches at most booked right now. Also knowing that that show is going to be three hours. And going forward in the future, there's the potential that every pay-per-view, even the B-shows, the main card is going to be at least four fucking hours! The last thing I need is an almost two-hour goddamn long match on Raw! If you're going to do this, Put this shit on SmackDown, because even as much as he would try, I doubt Road Dogg would be able to screw it up that much, and at least it would keep him away from writing anything else on the show, and believe me, that would be a win-win for everybody, just fucking do it type of situation. I don't tune into Raw to watch an almost two hour long random pointless fucking match, because in the grand scheme of things, it's just like everything else on that show. It's random pointless filler crap, and that's exactly what it is. Random, pointless filler. Crap, 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 crap. And I'm sorry to crap on your parade here. You know what? No the hell I'm not. I'm tired of seeing WWE and wrestling in general going down this long, monotonous, boring as bricks wrestling in the ring is the only fucking thing that matters type of bullshit because it's not. It's fucking stupid. It's fucking lame. So again, you want to let WWE off the hook? You want to crown their asses for a great show on Monday night? Then fine, crown their asses. But once again, I'm not doing it. I can't stand lazy fucking companies like this. And that's exactly what that shit is. And almost two hours of a match that doesn't fucking matter to me not only is lazy, it is boring as shit. And now, instead of giving me more reason to want to watch Elimination Chamber, a pay-per-view I had fucking frankly forgotten was even coming up on Sunday... By boring the brakes off of me Monday night with an almost two-thirds of the show long goddamn match. Featuring the same seven people that are going to be in your main event come Sunday night. You have now given me less reason to be excited about your pay-per-view. Less reason to actually want to watch your pay-per-view. And if that's the whole name of the game, then why the hell do you do them any fucking ways? Some WCW TNA bullshit. Let's completely undercut the pay-per-view. Let's forget to build the damn pay-per-view, even though we're charging people for the frickin' network. So that way we can give this circle jerk of random cluster fuckery around on Raw. That's horse shit.